Another day of those isolated, spotty Man. thunderstorms. Yes. Yeah, we got another one here in, in the Tyler area. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And this one went pretty widespread. The one <laughs> yeah. yesterday started over Russ County and then mm -hmm. just blossomed over the central areas. Yeah. Everybody got in on at least some sprinkles or some heavier thunderstorms yeah. that came through this afternoon, yeah. all while it was still very warm and yes. very humid. Oh, that's yeah. for sure. Oh, I that it was, humidity. It was invigorating. <laughs> Neil is so supple now because supple. of it. Oh, mm. yes, yes. And it, it even add a little bit more to it, we have the dust that's out there, too. You uh, we have our well? yes. And once again, we have our mudding forecast yeah. as well, a new verb we all made. <laughs> going to mud out there, y'all. 10% <laughs> yeah. chance of mud. <laughs> okay, yeah. It'll be with us for a little bit longer. We'll talk more about that here in just a moment. The latest on that mud African dust that's still hanging around. Okay, so before the storms came in, it was still Oh, very warm today. Look at our high temperatures right around 90 degrees for us. 91 in Longview, 88 in Gilmer this afternoon. Hemphill at 90, 90 in Crockett for us. It felt even warmer than this. We had heat index values middle and the upper 90s in a couple of spots even got close to about 100 degrees. And I think we'll see that again as we head into tomorrow. Outside right now, cloud cover is gradually decreasing. Just a couple of sprinkles are left over. This is a little bit overdone by the radar, but temperatures have cooled off tremendously from us reaching near 90 this afternoon because of the rain. Lower 70s for us right now. We're not going to really change that much more. The dew points are very close to that temperature. That gives us a near 100% relative humidity for a good part of the area. Jacksonville pretty much at 100% there. Tyler at 94%. You get the idea that we will see some areas of fog that will form first thing tomorrow morning. After that fog burns off, which should be fairly quick. We'll have a nice day up ahead. By noon, we're looking at a temperature of 87. Should get to around 90 to 91 into the afternoon. Now, a couple of isolated showers are not out of the question for tomorrow. We're just going to keep that chance low at about a 10% probability or less. But don't forget what it's going to feel like tomorrow afternoon. Upper 90s and in some cases might even be close to about 100 degrees. So make sure that you are staying hydrated. How about an update on what's happening in the trial? Tropics for us. Uh, we're in the early part of hurricane season. Not a whole lot happening right now, but we are keeping an eye on that African dust that we've been telling you about. Let me add on the wind field into the upper levels of the atmosphere. This is how that dust that makes its way into our area. It comes in off of the coast of Africa, works its way through the Atlantic Ocean and heading over into the Gulf of Mexico being pulled by those west winds at about 15 to 20,000 feet. This is the current situation right now as there is more dust forming off of the coast of Africa now near the Sahara Desert. That will work its way in as we get toward late weekend and for next week. And this is what we're dealing with right now. It keeps the storms from uh, developing in the Atlantic Basin, but we do get this dust that comes in. So folks that have some allergies or asthma, you want to be extra careful over the next few days. I think we're going to see this dust actually pick up just a bit more as we head into tomorrow. This is 7 a.m. in the morning. We still have at least a light to a moderate dust. Watch what happens here across southeast Texas and into southern Louisiana. We're really going to see more of that thicker, more dense dust really be prominent from Houston back toward Beaumont. Some of this will even clip parts of deep east Texas as well. There you can notice it there and into our southern counties late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. So this will be tomorrow our more widespread day to see the thicker dust here in the area. It'll still be present into the day on Friday, but gradually beginning to go down. It'll let up just a bit on Saturday, and then as we go into next week, it looks to return as well. We're also looking at some rain chances to return to the forecast. Very isolated for tomorrow as we look at future cast, but starting on Friday, we'll start to introduce a few shower chances. The disturbances coming in from the northeast into our area, that'll help increase Increase our storm chances a bit more as we go toward the weekend. Seven day forecast. We're looking at highs near 90 for the next few days. Now, starting on Saturday, about a 20 to a 30% rain chance. They'll pick up just a bit more as we get toward late weekend and early next week. Not a washout. These are mostly going to be into the afternoon hours. Now, deep east Texas, I think we'll have a few more storm coverage. So, there you can note the 30% oh, storm chance getting started on Saturday. But, Neil, I know you need to get down to Mo. Wouldn't call it a washout. Just make sure you have the storm team app and you'll be okay. I have it. All right. Prayers going up. All right. Thank you, Marcus. <laughs> Sports right now.